Good morning, good morning, YouTube landers. How are you this fine morning? It is a dreary, ugly Saturday morning. Rainy, crappy out. I am going to an auction, which starts in 20 minutes. I'm running a little bit behind. Um, I also need to stop the bank. So I'm probably gonna get to the auction after it's already started, but that's okay, because they always start with the trinkety stuff like watches and jewelry and stuff like that, and they take an hour to get to anything that I'm very interested in, so I should be okay. And then Shannon, hey Shannon. She uh, she texted me this morning and told me that there was a citywide garage sale about 20 minutes away. And I'd really love to go to that as well. So I'm kind of torn, being this crappy weather, probably gonna have uh, not too many people out today at garage sales, so there could be uh, some opportunity there. Um, and uh, so that's it. So we'll see where I end up. I'll take some footage of the auction. Maybe we'll hit a few garage sales and uh, we'll go from there. So believe it or not, I just saw a Saturday only garage sale. So I'm heading down there right now and let's go see what we can uh, find if there's any good stuff. So I just stopped at a garage sale and I got uh, this cute little Christmas thing for a buck, a little sled. I got a friend I'm going to give that to. She's doing, she does stuff for a thing called Festival of Trees where they raise money, for charity. And then I got this real nice iron metal, just, I don't know, decorative piece for two bucks, which I thought was a really good deal. And I got this chair. Yeah, I know I just got two chairs yesterday, but I need this chair as well. It's perfect for what I need it for. It's two bucks. And then I got a pair of these cool looking plant stands there. Again, for the business that I'm starting in January, which I will reveal soon. So I just got to my bank. I got, I have uh, 16 minutes before they open and look at that. Looks like they're doing some work on the bank and there is a beautiful, beautiful blue dumpster. So, Let's go have a look inside and see uh, see if there's any goodies. We'll see. So this is a real tall dumpster, but nothing any good in here. Just all wood, drywall. Oh, there's a metal stud over there. Probably not worth much. Let's see if we can find out on the other end. But uh, this may be it. So I can't get up here. It's too. It's literally. I mean, this, this is how tall this dumpster. I'm, I'm a tall guy. So I'm just gonna go put this over the edge. Yeah, it looks all like Sturks material. Nothing good. All right, so I just left the bank. It is 9-11. Uh, the auction has been going on for about 10, 11 minutes now. Uh, but that's okay. The first table they always go through was always slow. It's always, you know, jewelry and watches and stuff that I have no real interest in. Um, so I'm not gonna go to the garage sales because it's it's getting a little late already anyway so i will see you at the auction and uh we'll go from there bye
I made the right decision. Okay, so the auction is still going on. Um, but man, this guy's a trip. This auctioneer is a trip, man. He uh, he pulls if he pulls bids out of thin air, and uh, if something's going too cheap, he bids you up, and then he throws it on some random number. My number today was 39 when I got here. I was the 39th person here. So there might have been 25 people here. So every time I would bid on something that I was gonna get a good deal on, suddenly the bid would jump and it would jump. And so I would just drop out because the auctioneer was going, yep, out of, out of the blue. And then suddenly it would be, yeah, sold to 137. 137? Uh, who's 137? Who wasn't there? So if stuff at this auction, if it doesn't go where the auctioneer thinks it should go, he turns around and jacks up the price. So I don't like that. You can still get good deals here, but I don't like the dishonesty part of it. Um, so that being said, the other thing he does is if if he can't get a dollar bid for something, he, or 250 bid, he'll just say, pass it up, pass it up. And then you go back the next week, or you know, the next week or next two weeks, and the same stuff is still sitting there because he couldn't get a bid on it last, the last time. So you see the same stuff a lot. Uh, this is definitely not one of my favorite auctions, but everything does go cheap. I only spent 60 bucks. Uh, I got quite a, a lot of good stuff, uh, especially for the flea market. Some stuff for Etsy and uh, some stuff for the new business. So overall, I'm happy, but my feet are sore and I'm tired and I'm hungry. So I am ready to call it quits and get on with my day. Okay, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is the recap from yesterday's auction. It's actually Sunday morning. Auction was yesterday, but I wanted to do a quick recap on what we got. We spent $60.00. We would have spent a lot less than that if it weren't for the um, auctioneer has a 10% buyer's premium and then if you use a debit card it's 5%. So 15% of that was just bullshit charges. <laughs> this, this guy, he's like I said, he just he doesn't do stuff for the customer, right? He does it for himself and he's always kind of aggravating the customer and that's why his crowds just kind of keep shrinking. But again, it's a great place to come up with some good stuff, as you'll hopefully see here. So let's get started. Uh, first thing, I clear, cleaned out a lot. Nice little simple metal box, painted green. Nothing in it. But uh, anyway, at the flea market, I don't know, three or four bucks. Um, you heard there was some scrap metal from the auction and some silverware I got from the auction this again is also just kind of scrap metal I don't intend to sell it so and some brand new gloves that um, nobody wanted so again it was a clean out stuff like this you know it's an old uh, soldering iron I'm just gonna take the cord off it or maybe just throw it all in the scrap I think the cord off it and throw the rest of it in the scrap metal um, all right, so what else we got? We got this thing here. I paid two fifty for it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, it says C. Stevens Company, Brooklyn, New York, kit number sixteen ninety nine. You open it up. Well, first of all, it's got this knob on this side, right? So you think it looks like it's kind of like a cigar box. But then you open it up, and there are these. I mean, the thing look, looks like it's, I don't know, when it was built, it's old. It's got these two mirrors that are still in the original cellophane. And it's got all that sort of stuff there. So, I don't know what it is. I'll look it up. And I will put it in the description, you know, right, probably right about here. Uh, but I thought that was pretty cool, especially if you have those old knobs on it. You know, I don't know if, you know, so obviously it's electrical in some way. I don't know. Uh, obviously the leads probably go on to these two buttons right there. I don't know. Thought it was cool. Paid two fifty for it, maybe two bucks for it. This was part of a cleanup, which I thought was excellent. It's an old Polaroid camera. Um, I won't be selling that either. I'll be using that on my new business in January. Along with that was this cool Polaroid camera. Um, and I'm sorry because I keep leaning like this because the the camera's kind of out of whack. It's for me to see it 
uh, model 150 uh, I'm not gonna sit here and open it up but I'm sure it's the kind that pulls out you know what I mean um, so anyway well, maybe. so yeah so if you see there and then this this here will pull out I don't know how it all works but it's one of those that pull out and they're really great display pieces again it was part of the dollar lot that I cleaned up I couldn't believe that was in there Hey, quick check that out. I found out how to open that thing. Is that cool or what? Um, fishing knife. That's pretty much it for that box there. Yellow safety light. You know, again, part of a lot. Uh, Radio Shack 12 to 150 VAC uh, portable power converter. I don't know if it works or not. If it does, I'll be selling that. There's a power converter that somebody cut. That's just scrap metal. And then this whole thing here. Uh, it's all metal. I mean, this looks like a, a wire basket. It is all metal. Uh, silver plates, platter, some type of a creamer. It's actually marked on the bottom, so I'll have to look that up. But the rest of this is pretty much all brass. Uh, just brass and silver, you know, things like like that, I have no idea what it's even for, but cleaned up the whole lot, this one here is also marked, I cleaned up the whole lot for uh, $2.50, that's $2.50, but like I say, a lot of these are marked on the bottom, but the reason I bought them is for my new business, and I'm starting in January again, uh, this, this stuff here, the brass, there's nice stuff, it's a my competition or the other people that are doing this business they offer a lot of uh, miscellaneous brass pieces you know, like this is pretty cool wood handled uh, you know thing here so coffee dispenser or whatever there's another uh, little teacup again it's all marked on the bottom there's there's it's not like it's generic stuff so I'll have to go through that and see what I got I know this is pretty quick um, <laughs> this is, again, I cleaned off a lot for two fifty. Look at the size of this bow saw, tree saw, huge. I'll sell that at the flea market for five bucks. Um, with that bow saw, I, I mean, I got a ton of stuff for two fifty for I cleaned off this this aisle. This tray goes into this box here. But what's kind of cool is that I've been doing uh, waiting to do some some upholstering and staples staples and stapler so nice to finally have a power stapler I, i've got some one somewhere here in the garage i don't know where it's at so again part of that 250 a lot every time i've seen these at garage sales are five or ten dollars with the staples and i'm like no i'll find some uh, later on now Here's something I want you to pay attention to. If you ever find Krylon, Krylon spray paint, let me get this in the light a little bit better, Krylon spray paint with the five ball. Um, this is leather brown color, pretty full yet. These are actually extremely collectible and this might shock you. Go to, go to eBay and search uh, vintage spray cans. There are collectors out there that try and collect the entire series for that entire year for this entire, you know, or for, you know, maybe not the year, but for, for whatever they're making this range. Uh, this could be worth 10 bucks. It could be worth 50 bucks. It's kind of weird. So I'm, I'll put that in the description here, what it's worth, and maybe put a couple of examples as I'm talking. Um, but along with that, we've got this vintage Duplicolor uh, engine enamel. It's kind of a 50s green. Uh, so this is easily 10 bucks. I'm going to ask 10 bucks for that. And then there's these so sure never seen these before so sure brand um i hate the way this lighting is today but i'll put those on for 10 bucks for the pair i want to there's there's three so i'll put three all three of them on for 10 bucks for the pair for the for the set and this is just a polyurethane by true test hardware i'm going to keep that for my own projects so and then there was some just uh vintage staplers 
in there. I will probably put all three of these. One's a swing line, kind of a nice 1950s style stamper. I'll put all three of these on uh, Etsy for uh, 10 bucks plus shipping, you know, or 20 bucks for free shipping or whatever. So uh, that's cool. And then this is a really nice vintage. You know, you can see kind of the green patina here, green color. It's got some rust. It needs to be cleaned up. No one's washed it up in a long time. But it's a really nice, solid uh, toolbox. So that being said, from what you see here, I'll ask, uh, say, I'll ask, I'll ask uh, ten bucks, fifteen bucks for this on Etsy. The staplers, I'll get ten bucks for. I'll get ten bucks for these. Ten bucks for each one of these. So that's ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty bucks right there. That, uh, and I've only spent sixty bucks total, and we're not even done yet. So um, that's where I'm going to get my money back at there. I'll research the, the fishing knife, um, Imperial Diamond Edge, you know. I'll put it out there for five bucks. So let's just say, what did I say, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. And plus this, remember this thing here. Uh, I don't have any intention of keeping this, so again, I'll put down what it is, what it's worth. Uh, add that to the 45, hopefully that'll make my money back. Oh, and then I got this guy here. Uh, this is a really heavy duty, uh, you put it against your chest and you, you know, sit there and you drill with it. Um, I don't know what these will go for, but again, I'll put right here what, what it looks like it'll sell for. This is cool, man, check this out. This is a vintage clock, very retro. I haven't tested if it works yet. I love this heavy duty end on it, but anyway, it's kind of neat, it's kind of cool. Um, clock movement by Sessions, made in the USA. Definitely, you know, a 1950s clock. I always thought these kind of look like frying pans on the wall. But again, I'll put right here what I think I can get for it. I'm not keeping it. Now this blew my mind. I got this for two dollars. This is all cast iron. You know, it's got a nice looking star right here. It says 26 on it. You know, and it's like that's pretty cool. That's really a nice decorative cast iron uh, block and pulley. He goes, that's a snatch pulley. Excuse me? Did you say snatch? <laughs> so again, I don't know what a snatch pulley goes for, but I'll put it right there. Um, these are just some plates that are keeping for the business. This is neat. Check this out. This is leather. This is a turtle, right? It's a turtle, but it's a, it's all wrapped in leather. Made in Italy. And the turtle head screws off, or pops off when it yeah it screws off, and it's a bottle. It's a bottle. So this. It's kind of a neat leather turtle head. I don't know what it's worth. It's definitely going up for sale. Um, then I got this tray. This is for the business coming up. Got to keep that. This I bought for myself because I really like the lampshade. I think that's really cool. Uh, I've got kind of a similar lampshade in the living room. So I'm keeping this for myself. I like, I like that kind of decor look. Um, and then... I paid, if you can tell, I always, I'm always trying to clean up the tables, but I did put a bid in $250 for this because I thought it was really exceptional looking. Um, well, I hate the way this light is, but if you can kind of see that, maybe I'll zoom in on the video. But it's got like this gold flecking on it. Uh, it's green, green base, green top. And then it's handwritten, hand painted in Italy. Um, it's just a really pretty piece. I think it'll pop on Etsy. So that's going to go on Etsy. I'll probably ask another at least 10 bucks for that. So that's 55 there without anything else. And then this is Alfie 2. And Alfie 2 was a play school toy that you could uh, put these cards in. And 30 challenging questions plus two exciting games for Alfie 2. Uh, I've already checked. These go for uh, 10 to $20. If you got this stuff, it goes higher. So this is easily another 20 bucks on that uh, investment from yesterday. And then this I bought, I apologize. <laughs> it's 
somebody, this auctioneer, he puts these tags on there and says, L -l bid left for. And when they, when I see that, it kind of, I don't want to say it ticks me off, but what I do is if, if it's something I know I can sell, I'll kind of jack the bid up on them because it's so obvious that somebody else wants it, they left a bid on it. And I probably shouldn't do that, but I know it's been done to me. So, hey, whatever. But this opens up and you've got a bunch of My Little Ponies in there. And this is the My Little Pony carrying case, style number 90800. I don't know what it's worth. I don't know how many ponies are in here. I am not a My Little Pony kind of guy. Oh, there's a My Little Pony uh, pirate hat. So anyway, I will uh, let you know what I think I can get for that as well. And that is about it. So all that was 60 bucks. I think we've well we've already covered our 60 and our 60 back, plus the stuff I'm keeping for myself um, and for the business that's coming up. So uh, that was the haul from yesterday. So again, one last thing, just don't forget these spray cans. Go to your grandpa's basement. Go to your grandma's basement. Uncles, whatever. Ask them if they got old spray cans laying around. These things are crazy, crazy collectible right now. I mean, the graffiti artists out there, that, that's kind of what spawned it. They're actually collecting these for themselves. So Krylon is the hottest one of all. So you get the five ball Krylon. It's got the matching lid. Forget about it. Easily 10 bucks. Probably worth a whole lot more. So I forgot. I had a whole nother video, a whole, whole nother box here. There's a cast iron, uh, uh, iron. And a wooden rolling pin I'll take to the flea market. This is really cool. Um, I think it's just a, a, uh, candlestick but still I like that a lot these are metal signs different seasons made in India of course but there's you know there's four or five different signs there those will sell pretty good at the grab at the art at the uh, flea market um, more brass in here linens another candle holder for the business marbles um, miscellaneous uh, kitchen stuff down there so uh, I forgot to show you all that but that was also included in that 60 bucks so I think overall we did pretty good so that's it hey I hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed making it please uh, like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video and I will see you at the next dumpster take care we'll see you later bye everybody